So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is create derived tables using lookml so first of all start lab now open looker in incognito window now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so here wait for the page to fully load now enter the details as i am doing now make sure you follow the video carefully otherwise if you miss you will get error I won't be able to get full school on it. So now wait. Now we have to enable the development mode. This is the most important part. So click on it and the page will refresh it. If you miss this step, you won't be able to edit the files here. So now wait for it. Now follow the way I am doing. So now you need to click on develop, click labs e-commerce. So here. In the description box of this video, I've shared one GitHub link. Do check it out. If you want to know how to enable this scoreboard, so check the description of this video. Now click on models. And here, we have to create a view file. So, copy the name from here. And click on view. Now create view. Follow the way I am doing. You won't get any error. Now you have to click on create. So finally, it's created. Now make sure to remove the existing code and paste the entire content here and then click on save changes. So as you can see we have updated it. Now we have to update another file by creating the file first. First we need to create the file. So it's a view file. So again follow the same process. Now click on create. And now we have to replace the content with it. So now click on save changes. Now for last we need to update the model file. So if you are new to the channel join the telegram. So now here click on the model. Replace entire contents. Click on save. Validate lookml. Wait for it. So now commit. You can write any message here. Like the video and subscribe the channel now. Now here click on deploy to production. So finally it's up to date. Now we'll hit check my progress. You'll get the score without any issue. If you face error, just refresh the browser window and wait for two to three minutes. It will be updated and you'll get full score. So finally, as you can see, we got the full score and we are done with it.